Hi there, so in this video I'm going to just go through how to add um, the Octopus uh, details into your Give Energy Cloud dashboard. Uh, this is done through an API and all of your API details that you need are actually in your Octopus account. So it's really, really easy to set this up. So this is another great addition that I found in the Give Energy dashboard is that you can actually access the uh, Octopus Energy API and get the data out of your account into your Give Energy dashboard. Uh, really great thing to see what you've actually exported previously uh, and the amount of energy you've actually used. Now you can use this with most of the smart tariffs. I'm not on a go at the moment. I'm just on a standard uh, tariff, uh, fixed tariff. And basically the um, export octopus outgoing is displayed on here as well. So I'm just going to take you through how to set that up and where to look for the information. This is what it looks like once you've done it. Uh, you can, as you see here, this is where I came from Avro. So this is my day rate of 29p. And... Uh, if I flick that button to the left, I can see my export as well. So it will tell me what my um, estimated income was yesterday of like 18 pence and what I exported two kilowatts. So you can see the half hourly usage. You can see historical energy usage. Um, tariff automations are coming soon. You can see the rates as well. So this works for Agile and Go and everything like that. So if I go back to... Um, my incoming so my incoming yesterday uh, cost about nine pence because we used a little tiny bit of electricity as I mentioned before with the give energy battery that doesn't uh, instantly come on when you kind of need the extra power and it kind of does fluctuate a little bit so this is what you'd normally see um, if you were coming into the cloud with a nice power flow graphic if you scroll down to here uh, you can actually hit this four directional arrow box, open that up, and you should see a screen that allows you to add your tariffs in here. Now, it's got several companies set up in here already, Eon, EDF, British Gas, Octopus, and you can manually add your tariffs if you're not on any of those. So I chose Octopus. Now, there is a little bit of a bug here, and I had to find out that I had to kind of make the screen big and actually refresh it and go back again. There we go. So refreshing and hitting that several times uh, seems to bring me into this screen. So there's not too much information in here, but you can get all of this information from your Octopus account. So your account number, the MPAN number, serial number of your meter, your meter serial number, and the API key that Octopus gives you. And don't forget, if you're not with Octopus at the moment, but you're thinking about moving to Octopus, then you can get a £50 bill credit by using my code, TOUGHSNAIL7955. And you'll get £50 credited to your account once you've moved across to Octopus. Um, you can either give them that when you phone up or you can actually put it in an email uh, to tell them that you want your £50 credit and use the code TOUGHSNAIL7955. Now the API key is in your Octopus account under personal details. So just go into your account and select personal details. Then you should see a section called developer access. Now, once you've entered all that in and refreshed your Give Energy dashboard, this is what you should see. And then there we go. There's our data. There's our Avro data and there's our outgoing fixed data as well. I just thought that was a really nice feature um, within the Give Energy uh, cloud dashboard in order to see um, what's going on so you don't have to go to different uh, websites and stuff to see uh, what's going on with your system well thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you found it useful please give us a like uh, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel i'll see you soon